Alright. Now we're back at the PSP. If you notice, it's still in toggle, it's still USB mode, whatever. Um, just disable it. Um, you, you just basically unplug the USB, but I'm not going to since it's right now charging my PSP. Um, yeah, that's another plugin uh, that you can, or no, that's actually a configuration, but whatever. Um, now what you do is you go to your plugins file. You go to your plugins, see? Hit X. Now scroll down. You should eventually find two, two PSN lover um, features. One says VSH, which is what currently I'm selected at. You may, must have it enabled. And yeah, it needs to be enabled. Now you scroll down to the other PS, uh, PSN lover and it says game enable that as well and basically that's all you have to do then you just back out so it's save and you hit exit now watch what happens with a regular hacked PSP, you can't normally go on PSN. Watch this. And watch the magic happen. See? Sorry, I'm kind of having, like, really crappy internet right now. I don't know why. All right, here we go. And there we go. See? You get all your stuff. You can download just like you normally would. And they don't care. They won't know. Thanks to that plug-in. All right. And don't worry about getting caught. The worst that'll happen is you get banned, I think. Yeah, I think that's about as bad as it gets. Um, I do respect Sony, though, for trying their hardest to keep hackers out, but so far it's not working right. Um, why do you think you're here? All right, so that's about it, pretty much. If you like this tutorial, comment, rate, subscribe. Very much appreciate it. I'm looking for a couple loyal viewers that want to help me out and help spread the wonders of hacking around. And I'll have another tutorial in about... God knows when. <laughs> Alright. This is... Gunslinger 9000 from WFD Productions, signing off.